creations. Today, Slime Man's watching me. He's watching every move. Even now. Today, he's my overseer. But what a, today we got something very special today. I am going to try to make an armature. And then we will make something with it later. So I'm just going to go ahead and measure out what I'm working on. So as you see, Slime Man is back there watching me as I do every thing in this video. He's actually very, very uh, impatient. Every time when I do something, he's watching me. And uh, he actually has something very special to say, which is uh, he told me in private while I was working on this that uh, he's really waiting for me to get to 300 because he's looking for a new home. He's tired of me. Um, so once I reach 300 subscribers, I'm, I'm going to uh, paint him up and uh, give him away to some lucky viewer. So if you like what I do and you uh, uh, think you have a friend who might enjoy what I'm doing also, pass it along. So I'm working on the head. Uh, I'm uh, molding the wire. I'm just uh, making sure I have everything correct in measurement. This is actually my first time making an armature and uh, uh, I've watched some videos in the past. I rewatched one of them like right before I did this video uh, recorded. And uh, the one I was watching was actually for making a miniature. So I just kind of kind of like uh, took my own spin on it. Kind of had an idea of what I was planning on doing once I had this all done. And then when it's all done, when it comes time to... Um, getting ready to sculpt we will uh, I'll take the next step so we'll see why uh, see where I go yeah so I'm carefully making sure I keep everything the same size because uh, you know normally I'm a little bit loosey-goosey and um, I don't I don't really measure but with uh, proportions I'm trying my best to keep things proportionate uh, yeah So yeah, so I'm just working on the arms right now. So the great thing about the, the, the wire that I'm using, I'm using a, um, I believe it's a, a 14 gauge wire. And uh, one thing that I actually forgot when I purchased some wire was that the numbers go down mean means means that the wire is going to be thicker and when it goes up it's going to be thinner and uh well, the first set of wire i bought was actually too thin and the funny thing is i've ac I actually purchased that same size wire in the past and uh i wasn't quite 100 percent thrilled with it um so this time i'm trying something different since this is my first time making an armature I wanted to try, you know, just kind of working on this. So yeah, now I'm just kind of blocking out the body, figuring out how long I want the torso to be. Now I'm going to work on the, the hips. Let's try to get a better idea. So the slime has also just told me something which uh, I was a little, uh, you know, not sure if I should mention yet is uh, I do have, uh, slime wants to mention that um, there is a virtual tip jar. So if you like what I'm doing, there's a way you could uh, um, give me a tip 
it's actually linked down below and it's through buy me a coffee it is a place where you can have a virtual tip jar and uh, if you are familiar with patreon it's very similar to patreon the only difference between patreon and buy me a coffee is buy me a coffee has a tip jar and patreon doesn't uh, patreon more is towards the monthly memberships where buy me a coffee you're able to make a, one donation whenever you can so I wanted to really make focus on pe on the fact that I know that not everyone can handle a monthly donation so I wanted to make sure that if someone can only donate $25 at one time uh, then they don't have to worry about it for a while I'm totally you know I'm totally fine with that and you know like anything I get my way I'm super thankful for so I blocked out, I made the hips for the legs, and then now I, I kind of made sure that the legs were the same size. I'm just uh, fiddling with the neck and the head. So I really want this armature to be kind of like in a, in like kind of like a running pose. I, uh, I want to try to do that. I think it might be a little difficult for my first time, but I'm definitely wanting to try to make that work. As I said, I'm just trying to make sure that the like the proportions are correct. Yeah, give me a give me a comment below if you think that um, you'd like to see more things like this. Uh, I uh, tried to make a marking with uh, with a pencil. It did not work. I was looking for my sharpies, but I forgot my sharpies were in another room, so I had to try to find something so I can make a mark. Unfortunately, the best I could come up with was a red pen. It worked barely. So at this point, I'm just remeasuring the, the lower leg and making sure that the, the sizing was about the same. Um, I think it was only slightly shorter than the, the other side, but I didn't think it was too much of a deal considering that I was gonna have it in an action pose. Um, and uh, yeah. So normally when people are making armatures for miniatures, they usually use a little bit of uh, green stuff, you know, like two part epoxy and um, usually block it out of the chest to hold the, the pieces together and same with the hips. And um, so in that way that they kind of block out the body ahead of time. Uh, what I'm doing this time is I'm trying just to use a little bit of wire just so I can just kind of remember where the arms are, you know, where I'm having the, the wrists and then where I'm, you know, making the torso and then the hips. Um, so I really like my new angle. The only drawback is when I was working, when I was working on some of the, the wrappings, I, uh, momentarily forgot that it was a, a little high um, but for the most part all I was doing was wrapping I was just going diagonal and around and you know just trying to make sure that it was tight as possible without uh, bending the wire this is actually a softer wire um, I don't know if it would be considered as a dead soft uh, wire has different classifications as how saw how uh, bendable it is and um, yeah so right now I'm just kind of fixing the hands a little bit 
So I'm actually making a loop for where my hand is going to go because I really want to, my plan, my hope and plan is to actually sculpt out the hand piece, finger, finger by finger. So in that way, you know, I can control the length of uh, the finger. And also if I choose to make a fist and put a weapon, and uh, um, if I choose to make a fist or something, I can control that also. So with the with the with the hips, I'm just wrapping it around, just uh, blocking it out, and I'm using a a, uh, a black wire for that, just so in that way it just kind of breaks it up. Today I'm not speeding it up. Normally I would normally speed it up, but. Uh, I figured that, um, why not? The slime is still watching me. He's getting quite angry at me, actually, because, uh... He was hoping that uh, I would uh, have uh, rehomed him by now, but uh, still waiting on my 300 subscribers. I did prime him. He asked me to give him a coat so I can paint him. Actually, almost finished. At that, point, I was I was debating on whether I wanted to uh, uh, make a um, oh, put some wire around the head and kind of block out how I was going to um, position things, but then I decided not to. It was actually really fun. I um, definitely would try to make an armature again in the pa in the future. I might actually try like a, a ten gauge, a little bit of thicker wire. Um, maybe not a fourteen gauge. Fourteen gauge is is probably perfect. Um, maybe a, uh, yeah. Maybe I might try to make a uh, an animal of sort next time. I don't know. I haven't decided. Uh, I was thinking about possibly putting some foil to uh, to make the the to kind of block out the muscles for this. I haven't decided on what my next step is. Uh, I haven't decided if it's just going to be straight just straight to working on the clay next, or or if I'm going to go towards um, putting foil kind of and then positioning everything. We'll see. Slime wanted a closer look at his new adversary. He's kind of jealous. So I just kind of took like a, a flat, a flat plier and then just kind of flattened out the um, the feet 
and then I went around and just kind and kind of tightened up the the um, the wire the wire bundles. That's what I was doing off the screen. So leave me a comment if you what you would like to see this uh, armature turn into. Uh, I'm welcome to some some su suggestions. Uh, you can tell me kind of like a humanoid animal. You could tell me uh, if you want me to try to make something specific. Um, I'm welcome to su some suggestions. Just uh, leave a comment below. I'm really excited about this new uh, project we're starting. Um, so yeah. So I hope you're really enjoying this video. I um, uh, I really had fun making this armature. It was my first time doing it, so I hope I did it okay. Um, and if you want to give this video a like, if you want to give it, a, if you if this is, if you're new here, if you want to give it a subscribe, that's cool. Uh, well, thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you next time. Well, apparently not yet next time. I'm still fiddling with this guy, but...